In this tutorial, we will try to design a Verilog code for a 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So this digital circuit will have 8 inputs from I0 to I7. It will have 3 selection line S2, S1 and S0 and 1 output signal. So the basic job of multiplexer is to select one of the input signals and pass it to the output. But out of these 8, which one will be selected will depend upon the value of selection line. So just to understand the operation of multiplexer, let us have a look at its truth table. So if the selection line S2, S1, S0 are 0, 0, 0. So if we convert triple zero to decimal, it is I0. So whichever is the first input I0 will be given to output Y. If the selection line value is 0, 0, 1, then I1 input will be given to output Y. And similarly for all the different 8 combinations, the output signal will be assigned. So for 1, 1, 1 last combination, I7 will be assigned to output Y. So out of all the total 8 combinations, only one of them will be selected and given to output Y. So we will write a Verilog code for this and we will be using case statements in Verilog HDL. So case is one of the conditional statements in Verilog HDL and we will be using that to write our Verilog code. So like all Verilog code, it begins with a keyword uh, module and after writing module give some name for your digital circuit so i'll just give mux underscore 8 cross 1 then write down what are your inputs so there are two inputs like selection line and data inputs and one output by next you declare how much length you want because eight inputs are there so i will declare input size as 8 bits so 7 down to 0 next I will declare my selection lines and because we have uh, 3 selection lines so 2 down to 0 and I will declare it as S and then one output reg Y then I will open one always block and inside this I will mention the signals to which I have to be sensitive. So this is called the sensitivity list in which it means if either input value changes or so either input value changes or the selection line value changes we need to start calculating the new output. And we will be using here case statement. So case will depend on selection line. So S and then you can start giving your different combinations. So if the S value is 3 bit triple zero, then in that case, our output Y will be equal to IN of zero. So like that, we need to write eight combinations. So I'll just duplicate this line eight times and this will edit the values so next combination is 0 1 there it will be i n of 1 similarly 1 0 i n of 2 then 1 double 0 means 4 so 1 double 0 before that uh, 0 double 1 0 double 1 will be i n of 3 and next we have 1 double 0 means 4 so just we need to convert these uh, binary signals to their equivalent decimal values because in a multiplexer only one of those eight inputs will be selected and given to the output and which one will be selected will depend upon value of selection line that is why we are writing total eight possible scenarios so whichever selection line will match that particular operation will happen and remaining will be ignored. And for example, if none of them matches, you can also write one default scenario. So default is written just to have a precaution that if some of the value is X or Z, 
then we will take the default scenario if all the eight cases are not matching and every case which is starting also has a end case so it's uh, the syntax of uh, case statement and every begin has an end so we are done with our uh, code and just we need to write down now end module so our design code is uh, now completed now what we need to do is we need to uh, whatever this design code is there for it for us to observe the outputs we now need to write a test bench for it so i'll start uh, coding test bench also here so i'll uh, code beside this so let us give the name as some uh, module tv and you can write down end module next always remember whichever are inputs those become reg in test bench so reg 7 down to 0 in and for uh, selection line also reg 2 down to 0 s and whichever is output it becomes wire in test bench next we need to instantiate our code so write down the name of the module mux underscore 8 cross 1 and then write down some instantiation name like duty and then write down the name of the signals in the same order so whatever order is declared here that same order we write because we are doing port connection by order and whatever is the name of the module here same module we are instantiating here so hopefully now you understand syntax and put a semicolon and now begin one initial block because inside this only all the inputs will be applied before applying inputs just call two dump files because if we want to observe the waveforms these two files are required so dollar dump file dump dot vcd so i'll just enlarge this a bit dump dot vcd so vcd stands for value change dump file because these two files are essential for us to get the timing diagram waveforms so next 0 comma dot next we will write one dollar monitor for us to also print the values so we'll write time equal to percentage 0 3t and then a equal to not input equal to before that uh, what are our uh, signals selection line input and output so first we'll write selection line equal to percentage uh, 0b and then we can write down our input is equal to percentage 0b and then finally our output y equal to percentage 0b so because i want to print them in binary i am using percentage b finally i will replace them with first one i will need to print is time and then selection line after selection line i want is my inputs and finally my output y and you can close the this bracket so after writing dollar monitor what we ne now need to do is we need now need to start giving different uh, inputs so i'll give my input in as some 8 bit value so 8 bit binary number i'll give 1011 and because it is a big number in middle you can write one underscore also and then i can write 1010 now let me explain you this a bit because if you observe in 8 cross 8 is to 1 multiplexer total 8 inputs are there that is why i am giving a 8 bit binary number as my input now which will will be in of 0 so because this will be in of 0 so the value of in of 0 is 0 and what is in of 1 this first bit so in of 1 will be 1 
Similarly, i n of 2 will be 0 and i n of 3 will be 1. This is i n of 4 and this is i n of 5, i n of 6 and this last one is i n of 7. So total 8 bits I have given from 0 to 7. Next, which one will be given to output will depend on selection line. So you can start giving now S value. So first I will give S as um, 3 bit binary number 0 0 0 and after that you can give some delay of 50 nanoseconds. So when you give uh, 0 0 0 as uh, selection line, so i n of 0 will be selected that means this 0 will be selected and this value will be given to y. Similarly, next combination of selection line will be 0, 0, 1. So when I give 0, 0, 1, that time i n of 1, that is this, this bit will be selected and y will be equal to 1. So similarly, we can generate all the 8 combinations. And then I will edit the values. So 0, 1 and then next one is uh, 0 1 0 then 0 double 1 then next one is uh, 1 double 0 then 1 0 1 and then 1 1 0 1 1 0 means 6 and last one is triple 1 7 so when i give selection line as 3 bit 1 1 1 that time i n of 7 that is 1 this i n of 7 bit will be selected and y will be 1. When I have given 1 1 0, that time this i n of 6, so y will be 0. So like that you need to select which input you want based on selection line. And after giving all the combinations, I will call dollar $finish. So now I have uh, done coding my test bench also. So now what we will do is we will just uh, copy and paste this code in EDA playground. So EDA playground is an online simulator. So we'll just paste our first design code and I'll also paste my test bench code and then we'll uh, run this code just to check if any compilation mistakes are there. So we'll select the tool as Icarus Verilog and we'll click on this open EP wave after run and hit on this uh, run button. So let us uh, observe if any errors are there. Okay, so no errors are there. Uh, our waveform is also generated. So let us first observe this uh, selection lines. Okay. So if you observe first one like uh, selection line if it is 0, 0. So on the 0th bit that is this i of 0 was selected and y became 0. So if you want uh, 3, 3 bits to be displayed, you can write here 0, 3, V like this. And if you want, uh, so just to get 3 bits, you need to specify this number 3. So let me run this code once again. So now if you observe, now we are getting 3, 3 bits. So if selection line is 0, 0, 0, then what should be output, how output y is 0. Why? Because 0, 0, 0 means this 0th bit is selected. And because it is 0, y became 0. Now it is not always necessary that it should be 0. It depends upon input value. Just because I took my input value as 1, 0, double 1 like this, output is coming in this manner. You can take uh, this input as whatever you want as per your uh, signals. So I took like that. So I'm getting the output like this. Similarly, if the selection line is 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0 means 2. And this is our second bit. Why is this is our second bit? Because uh, numbering in programming starts from 0. So this is 0th bit, first bit and second bit. And because this is 0, y became 0 and all this all the eight combinations you can check on your own now 
and similarly timing diagram is also neatly displayed so if you observe all the inputs from in of 7 and then three selection lines s of 2 s of 1 s of 0 so you can just click on different different time intervals like 0 50 100 150 and you will get accordingly the outputs so hopefully now you understood uh, how to run uh, 8 is to 1 multiplexer using case statements we will run one more time this uh, thing using uh, if else condition so you can check out that other video also how to uh, generate 8 is to 1 multiplexer using if else condition because there are different ways of coding the same digital circuit in different styles so this is using case statements you can take a screenshot and you can try on your own in your Verilog compilers and check if the correct output is uh, coming or not. So hopefully now you understood the uh, 8 is to 1 multiplexer functionality. Thanks for watching.